Okay, so now we just have the cube. And this is how to begin to shade the cube. We have to first establish the cube is going to have a, the lightest side, the next darkest side, and the darkest side. So light, medium, dark sides. Um, the sun is shining from above um, and to the left. So what I'm going to do is make the top of my cube the lightest side. It's all lit up by the sun. The side on the left, the left side is going to be my medium side. So this is my lightest, this is my medium, and the darkest side is going to be right here on the side furthest from the sun. And of course my cast shadow is going to be the darkest thing of all in my entire drawing. So I don't smear the pencil all over the place. I'm going to do my cast shadow last. I have everything from a 2, 2 H up to a 6B. So I have quite a range of pencils here. Not only should you just shade um, your cube light, medium, dark, there is something also that goes on which is called transitions in tone. So within each side you have the cube going from darker to lighter. That's called transitions in tone. You also have light edges meeting dark edges so there's also contrast. You can not have two of the same values meeting up when you're doing your transitions in tone so you have to kind of plan these things out. I'm going to use a let's see here I have these woodless pencils that I like. I'm going to use a HB pencil and I'm going to just just throw some overall just the easiest way to do this the shading on the cube and to do the shading of all the basic forms is to just throw throw some value down like this just throw it down okay for the medium side I want you to press harder with your pencil that you used up here. Um, I'm, I also kind of think that the direction of the pencil is important, which kind of also helps to helps make the shading a little bit more even and consistent instead of like going in all different kinds of directions. If you just stick to one direction, the shading will look smoother as well. So right now I've just used HB. So let's use a 4B for the darkest side. I'm just using the scribble shading method, what I call scribble shading, where you just go back and forth, but try to stick to one direction or it's going to look like some of the other shading techniques that we uh, that we practiced in my class. It, if you start making these uh, vertical lines, if you have been going horizontal all, all along, but then you switch it up to vertical lines, like going throughout the whole thing, maybe, maybe you could do that on the edges here, but to clean up the edges. But if you start doing it all over, it's going to start looking like cross-hatching. I mean, if you're going to do cross-hatching, just do cross-hatching throughout the whole piece. But there's no need to cross hatch because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to blend all of this with a uh, paper towel. So it makes sense to blend the lightest area first because if you do the darkest area and your paper towel's too dirty, you might carry some of that darker darker value or the darkest value into your lightest areas and then your whole cube will be the same value. You want 
at least three distinct values, light, medium, and dark. And even the lightest should be some sort of shade of gray because you don't want it to blend into the background, which is white for now. Now I'm kind of blending in and smoothing the medium side here. And now I'm going to go and blend in the darkest, darkest side here. And don't worry about, you know, the pencil going out of, out of the lines and everything. We can fix that later. So my medium side is starting to look very much like the same value on top. So how do I fix that? So we're going to fix that by adding more shading. Um, let's see here, maybe to this corner here. And this side here, this could be dark. Sometimes the paper towel, when it's a new one, it just kind of erases and soaks up all the pencil. So using kind of a dirty one, keeping a couple dirty ones around without trashing them immediately could be a good thing too. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of an even darker pencil, which is a 6B. I'm going to make this corner of this cube a little darker. This is going to be my dark corner. Maybe I will do a little bit of cross hatching here. And now this is where your erasers are going to play a very, you know, uh, important role. If this is going to be my dark corner, I want this to be my light corner. So I'm going to protect uh, the parts of the drawing that I don't want to get uh, erased. And I'm using my eraser as a highlighting tool. Uh, I might use a combination of kneaded eraser and then the plastic eraser, the harder eraser. I don't want to remove too much from the this darker side. So I just use the kneaded eraser because it just removes a uh, little bit of pencil at a time. The harder you push down on this kneaded eraser, the more it, e it removes the pencil. Okay. That's really, really light. So I might want to go back in, kind of soften that up, and also make it a little bit darker again, except that, that edge, I want to keep a nice, soft, glowing edge. Okay. This is going to be the dark edge. And I'm going to use, uh, let's see here, 4B pencil here for my medium side. This is a dark edge for my medium side. Run that dark shading down here too. So this is like my darker corner here. So if I want a lighter corner, I want the lighter corner to be right here. here. So I'm going to protect this area with uh, the ruler. Okay.
So this is a tutorial basically for um, beginning level art students, arts, art one. So I'm just going over the basic uh, skills involved in drawing and shading form. So we're transitioning from drawing line and shapes, all kinds of shapes, to drawing uh, form, creating the illusion of form. I feel like maybe picking up some of this pencil and lightening it by wiping it away. Okay, and now the lighter, lighter side here. I want this to be a nice bright edge for the top, but I have a light edge here and a light edge here, so that's not going to work. So what, what I'm going to have to do is make this the lighter corner, but then it's going to start disappearing into my back background. So I will have to put in a little bit of a value for the background. So I'm creating a transition in tone for the top of the box. I think the kneaded eraser does a good job for creating soft erasures. Just lightening up the top of this box again. If I need to kind of lighten up that corner again, I will. Okay. And just clean up my smudges. And using the the metal ruler as a mask is a good idea. It really cleans up the edges of your form. Use a drafting brush to to get rid of the eraser dust. Here we go. Just if you want to see this, this, this does a really good job cleaning up the form. It's just running a hard eraser like this right along the edge mm -hmm. and the ruler basically protects the parts of the drawing that you that you want to protect Okay. Also, we should uh, begin to shade the cast shadow. So I'm going to use a 4B pencil. Here's a 4B, and I'm going to press very, very hard right underneath where the umbrush is starting to come out from under the box. Mm, I think I can actually go a little darker. So I'm going to get a 6B pencil. I have a piece of 6B pencil here. Mm -hmm. Just kind of fill in where I skipped on the edges. Okay. So now I'm going to use, uh, just turn to a kind of dirty part of the paper towel that already has some pencil. And I'm going to smooth your shading out. You could go from the light area to the dark area, but if you went from dark area to light by accident, then just Turn to a clean part on your paper towel and go to the light area and then go from light to dark. It makes more sense to work that way. Okay, what I'm going to do is just clean up the smudges. Um, 
by using the masking technique with the ruler. Look how sharp that is, and then clean up that edge right there. Okay, just clean up the periphery here. I like the kneaded eraser because it also just you could really just clean up real quickly. Just hit the, the light smudge areas. Okay. Now you want to take a look at this cube, see if it, it works, see if you need to lighten it up even more. Up here, that's your lightest surface. 